In today's edition of Random Thoughts from Your Favorite Plastic Surgeon, I want to talk about an important decision many of my patients are faced with, which is, should I put my breast implants above or below the muscle? So specifically, should the implants go underneath the pectoralis muscle, or should they go in the space above the muscle, but below the gland? That is called subglandular, and of course, if it's under the muscle, it's submuscular. Now that is a very personal decision, and we've written a blog post to really specifically highlight this, the pros and cons of this, um, this important decision. So in summary, if I had to really drill it down to a couple of key points, the first is, are you looking, do you need the camouflage in the cleavage zone? In that center area, do you need camouflage or do you have a decent amount of subcutaneous fat and tissue to cover the implant there? Because if you have enough tissue, then you can choose either above or below the muscle. But if you don't have enough tissue, my recommendation would be to go under the muscle so you can have some, maintain some of that natural look, if that's your goal, and so that you can still have a nice natural contour from your chest to your breast without it being more sharp. Now, another important key is what's the ratio of the implant to your native breast? If the implant is much larger than your native breast, we might want to camouflage it under the muscle. If they're pretty well matched, then we have the option of either above or below the muscle. Now lastly, I'm going to kind of flip it, and it's important to understand what are your personal priorities in life? Are you someone who spends a lot of time bodybuilding or doing CrossFit or a lot of yoga, plank, that sort of thing? Do you ask a lot of your pectoralis muscle? Because if so, my recommendation would be to leave it intact, not mess with it, and go above the muscle. Um, if you're someone who's doing a lot of competition body, um, with respect to bodybuilding, then you might want to go below the muscle so that it's not as obvious when you do your poses. There are so many ways to really understand and approach this topic. It's very complex. And even just as I try and sit here and explain it and say, here are my simple understandings, I find myself saying, well, here's a caveat and here, wait, if this applies to you, then do this. And so long story short, we need to talk in person and I can give you my recommendation based on your personal goals with regards to your aesthetics and your goals with regards to your life. Um, and we didn't even talk about breastfeeding. So as you can see, there's a reason my consultations take an hour between my talking and answering your questions and concerns. So after we get through this, after we get through COVID-19, I will be with you on the other side to talk to, th to talk through these concerns.